actually, the kid with it, it did a good second name, was the hardest thing in the world to do. And remind me to come back and talk about why you're not going to be here in a minute. Oh, I heard there was some reorganization. Bingo. We just had a board meeting. Board meetings are not like what we've got here. He sees it, I see it, he sees it. If we come to a, a hand pump, if we come to a hand press pump, everybody's happy. Even though you shouldn't let people cross the Red River in Texas, you do. <laughs> but everyone's happy to see us, we're happy to see them. Wherever he goes, the same thing. That's not a board meeting. Board meetings are intense. Hostility is expected. Uh, sometimes good things get done. Other times, nothing gets done. A board meeting will cost us probably seventy thousand dollars every time we hold. But when we go, and you disagree with me. What was the term you used in the bar about what happens at these meetings, what people do? You made a comment. It's something like, there are too many ladies here, I can't repeat what he said. Uh, basically, is that too many people come to the board meeting with the intent to get over on somebody else and not move things that need to be moved. Coy uh, was asking about where we all go to the world and get it yet. Rewritten. It's decade old, it needs to be rewritten. The software underneath it doesn't exist anymore. <clears throat> it's out of date. No move. You can run a whole list of, of things that need to be done that doesn't get done because of the essential in that world. It doesn't mean that people that are elected in other uh, divisions are not right they are. Some of them are great. A couple of them are just really good. But it's kind of like a sorority zone. People are upset with Coy. Others are upset with Ray. And you get off the little pay nonsense. And that, that slows down what we need to do. There are people in there who believe certain things that the rest of us don't agree with. And we, those things aren't in the answer to regular. Instead of focusing on what we, we as a group need to do. People who know about amateur radio like it. They like us. If we got rid of everything that all the clubs in Oklahoma, amateur radio would survive. Because, well, maybe without any. Um, <laughs> but Oklahoma works very, very well. Texas works very, very well. It's not because of the division right? There are clubs that are superb. They have it. They know how to bring people in, young, old, get new members. They know how to expand the programs they've got, how to make it more interesting, and how to help the community. That is where the focus ought to be on what we're looking at. But you don't get enough people who are asking you how to do it. We've got a club effort inside the ACF or safety committee, right? They got a club subcommittee, and they've got all these wonderful ideas about how the clubs can get better and how we bring in uh, more members. They haven't asked anyone in the field. Did I know that? You? Yeah. Yeah. Amateur radio will survive mostly until you get deal with Congress. But there are things that can be done at headquarters level to help all of all the way up here across the country. It's not happening the way it should. That happens just because some people have ideas that are more focused on internal issues than external issues. How many of you think you ought to yes, sir. You can finish your thought, but I've got a question about where you Don't ever ask me to finish your thought, maybe here for a week. <laughs> you, 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 a minute ago, you were on the logbook conversation in yep. the committee meeting. And I guess what's in my mind or my, my thought about that is there's things that I can, being on this side, that I can be really sympathetic of and, and understand that that makes it process slow, maybe budgeting or resource allotment for things. 
it sounds to me like part of what you were indicating, though, that part of the hang-up is either recognition or buy-in or desire, or is it an issue that there's not the funding or, like, or can you say Let that? Let me answer the question and we'll move along. Okay. <clears throat> Mark says there are people around here who can spell IT and actually do programming. Logbook of World is, you have Club Log, you have EQSL, other programs. Our program is unique in that it is absolutely secure. You can't cheat in it. You try, it won't work. That's what makes it so useful around the world. We have 186,000 users. We have 286,000 accounts with 186,000 users. Half the United States, half outside. The program was done almost a hobby 10 years ago. It works, but you'd have to get into the architecture that's really archaic. If you load a log in, it only processes your log. It takes every QSO and compares it to every other QSO and compares it to every award to see if you get it. There are 15,000 logs behind yours. It can't parallel process. And it can't parallel process all of your QSLs. There's a physical limit to how fast we can make that run. We, we put in every solid state drive in. We can, we can't. Well, it, it's a different way to Yeah, it was designed run. that way. You're... It was designed Holy that God. way in the beginning because no one thought it would be as big as it is. They thought it was neat. No one really has a big deal. I've mean, got a billion QSOs. But I guess my question is, is, is there a shared understanding within the committee that it's a problem that needs to be solved and interest to get behind it, and it's just a matter of timing and funding, or is it a matter that there's not even buy-in in the idea? Like, that's where I was lost. Yes, the first half. Yes, the last half. There's no buy-in. We've had committees that watch over the long before. They have said repeatedly, it has to be redone. We can't survive with single process of software underneath that doesn't exist. That's one of our concerns when we got hit, that the software was going to be damaged and there are no copies of it that were being released anymore. We'd have to go buy one from somebody. Everyone recognizes, because the committee keeps saying, you've got to fix this. Now, how do you get by it? When are you going to get to it? There's no drive to fix it. Funding? That's easy. You can ask for the, that, that was the reason, I'm, I'm going to interrupt, but that's actually the reason for my question, because if the question is how do we get buy-in, I think, is that not real similar to how we get a senator's buy-in? By having a membership that controls a purse to show up and say this matters to us and we care? No. Okay. 47, 48% of our revenue operating costs come from members to this. Can the members affect this? Yes. If you get enough people behind an argument and start really leaning on the headquarters, can you get people to move? Perhaps. But the funding isn't, the funding for everything isn't just from the members. That doesn't mean members aren't important. They are the organization. But you've got to have, after someone reads the report and says, we've got to do this, you've got to have people willing to do it. That requires the board's movement as well as uh, headquarters staff. It's not happening. Funding? That's easy. Uh, you can ask the people in Oklahoma, say the DX Association, you can walk around the country to other DX Associations because I visited them and said, okay guys, Logbook World has to be rewritten. It's going to take money to do it. Skipping over Mark's offer of free services. Estimate, maybe, maybe not. Maybe you probably won't take that long. Okay. The league doesn't have that money parked over here to do that. We've got severe strains in the budget right now we're talking about. Okay, if you like Log Book of the World, how much do you like to donate? If we ask you to donate money, sole use would be rewrite Log Book of the World and improve it, would you give us money? We had 100%. I've got clubs now with, can I write you a check email? No, because I can't spend the money. I can't get, what do you call it, the board or headquarters? It doesn't matter which one you pick here. I can't get that buy-in. We'll go do it now. 
They know the funding's there because we've had this conversation. Logbook for World is the flagship program for the organization. It's known throughout the world. People would love to see it improve, or at least it was like people do the XML. But we can't get it Funding isn't easy. I mean, it's simple. Skipping over that we've got two different groups in the United States who are offering to do it for free. They all have. And they all are capable. So it doesn't matter whether you hire someone or you do it for free. We can't get moved to get it done. And it is frustrating as the devil. 